Which beverage you think everyone just pretends it tastes good? La Croisie. That shit tastes like someone took carbonated water and rubbed a fruit against the can. Kombucha. If you guys think that all beer tastes like Bud Light, whiskey like Jack Daniels and coffee like Starbucks then I understand your responses. LaCroix tastes like someone else is thinking about fruit. I've heard it described as drinking static while someone yells out flavors from the next room and I can't find a more accurate description. Tonic water. I'm going to get hated on for this, but by itself or whatever it gets mixed with taste vile to me. Probably a me problem, but neat gin isn't so bad. I have a cousin who enthusiastically enjoys Malord on the rocks. I assumed people were going to list coffee and IPAS, but it still hurt my feelings to hear it. People always talk about dead-end jobs but what are some dead-end lifestyles? Loving people who don't love you back. Alcohol, it's expensive, your sleep suffers, your relationship suffers, your work suffers, then your health suffers. It's a silent killer too. I didn't realize I was an addict until 8 years in. Addiction. Edit. To anything. Doesn't have to be substance. Living to work. I used to fall into a tunnel vision where I hyper-focused on the job and woke up to realize I've been neglecting myself and my relationships. Now, I'm finding the balance of working to live, and also making time to enjoy life with my family and friends. What is the saddest TV show death of all time? Breaking Bad when they murder Jesse's GF while he's tied up in the car watching. Mr. Hooper from Sesame Street. I was in pre-K. On the M-A-S-H finale. When the woman killed her baby because it wouldn't stop crying. Sarah Lynn. Jan I wanna be an architect. Ben from Scrubs. Technically not a death as he's already dead, but Chitty passing through the gate in the good place. He was finally content and made the decision for himself to step into the unknown. The conversation he has with Eleanor before was beautiful and that final episode is really emotional. Pussy. Had to find someone who was caught up in the show to talk about it. I couldn't sit alone with that death. Glenn in The Walking Dead. Fuck me. Stopped watching the show after that. What's the best yo mama joke? Yo mama so ugly your dad takes her to work so he doesn't have to kiss her goodbye. Yo mama so fat, the sorting hat put her in the waffle house. Yo mama so fat she's on both sides of the family. Yo mama so fat, when she skips a meal, the stock market drops. Yo mama's so ugly, her portraits hang themselves. Yo mama so ugly her blowjobs count as anal. Yo mama so slow, it took her nine months to make a joke. Yo mama so ugly the burglars break into her home just to close the blinds. Women of Reddit. What is the most unattractive fashion choice men frequently make? Political or supposedly funny quote t-shirts. As in, federal booby inspector. I am not as think as you drunk I am. I'm a guy and I know a conversation about my love of cargo shorts is incoming. Jeans that don't fit right. In the UK, the guys that wear the ridiculously tight trousers and loafers with no socks. Too much camouflage. Hats, shirts, pants, jackets. What's the point of dressing that way? I can't even see you. The element of surprise. Fashion starts with good grooming habits. If a dude has long or dirty nails, a crusty beard, greasy hair, bow, etc. Then it doesn't matter what they're wearing. Get away from me and go take a shower.